what up YouTube, man, like the self-determination, back as you guys with some more boxing, I'm a little pissed off, because I was trying to record this before the fucking fire truck rolled past, loud as fuck, anyway, anyway, enough about that, uh, um, this is an Adrian Broner video, not necessarily, and it's a boxing video, I guess, because Adrian Broner's a fighter, um, but this isn't, you know, me breaking down, or, uh, or, or giving my thoughts on the upcoming fight with Mikey Garcia and Adrian Broner. This is about Adrian Broner and his last um, statements that have made it into the media. You know, about fans who doubt him can kiss his ass and he feels like people are sleeping on him and his skills, so on and so forth. And I'm just wondering, and I don't believe this to be true, but I wonder if Adrian Broner shows from some, some memory impairment or something like that. Like, is he not aware of his antics outside of the ring? Is he not aware of these things? People aren't going to just let your idiosyncrasies go like that, you know? And you have a lot of them, dog. And, and the thing about your idiosyncrasies is that you put them on blast for the world to see. You give people who judge you and criticize you all the ammunition they need to pass judgment on you and criticize you. You do that, Adrian Broner. Nobody is doing this for you. Now, if you weren't, you know, as obnoxious as you are, people would still criticize you without a doubt. They'd still criticize you. You know what I'm saying? But one thing they wouldn't doubt is your dedication to the sport or your skill. People criticize Floyd. One of his one of his biggest, um, uh, 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 one of the people who criticize him the most, one of his biggest critics, Oscar De La Hoya. But one thing Oscar De La Hoya has not ever denied that Floyd is undoubtedly one of the greatest fighters, one of the greatest fighters in history. He's definitely the greatest fighter of this generation or this past generation of fighters. There's one thing Oscar De La Hoya has never taken away from Floyd, at least in recent time anyway. And he doesn't like Floyd and everyone knows that. And the same could be true for you, Adrian Broner. People are always going to criticize you. People are always going to dislike you. But... The lack of support that you have when it comes to big fights from a lot of uh, boxing fans is because of your antics, dog. It's because you're undisciplined. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of living the boxer's, boxer's lifestyle, you're trying to live the rock star lifestyle. You're not a fucking rock star. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how you can't see this. What kind of people do you have around you that aren't kicking the truth? I mean, honestly, I'm going to tell you what I think about Adrian Brown. I think Adrian Brown is the type of dude that if he has real people around him kicking him the unbridled truth, completely unobjective truth about himself. I honestly think Adrian Broner's the type of dude to get people like that out of his circle. He wants to surround himself with yes men. He has his dad in the ring brushing his fucking hair. I'm sorry. I I I'm sorry, no. Fuck out of here. Seriously? Nah, get out of here. I'm not one of your homeboys. I'm not a crony or a lackey. I'm speaking if I was a father. I'm not stepping in the ring brushing your motherfucker. Anyway, that, that has nothing to do with the video. I apologize for that rant. That's just my personal feelings about it. Um, I don't think he has any truly strong black men around him that 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 can have any uh, positive influence on him. I mean, because he's constantly in the media doing dumb shit. I mean, Adrian Brown, think about this, dog. Think about this. I mean, you 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 were just arrested because of a violation. You you, you continuously disrespect the uh, the judicial system. Not saying that I'm a huge fan or advocate of the judicial system, but you continue you continue to get locked up for failure for FTAs and shit like that. You know, like your your recent event where you got you were in a SUV that had just gotten shot up because you were at a bar, probably drinking and getting into it with dudes that you probably shouldn't even be in the company of in the first place, and they wanted to try and kill you. Even if they just want, if, even if they were only after the person that was that you were in the vehicle with. They were still shooting at you, right? And then before that, you and Floyd Mayweather going back and forth beefing. Then you're talking about you want to kill yourself. And then another arrest. And then more court shit. I mean, dog, I mean, seriously, dude, you do not instill faith in anybody, dog. Seriously. You don't, you do not instill faith in anybody. I mean, for the most part, most people don't have faith in you because to them, in their minds, betting on you is like, Putting gas in a car that you've already wrecked. You know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, I just crashed this car into this fucking brick wall. Completely totaled it. I turned my fucking, uh, I turned my fucking full-size sedan into a fucking combat, a compact. 
I think I need to fill up the gas tank. What a fucking waste that would be, right? Same thing with people betting on you, Adrian Broner. Dude, you don't show anybody anything that makes anyone want to blindly bet on you. They literally have to weigh their options with you. Like with this Mikey Garcia fight. Floyd is somebody you can bet on blindly. Oh, Floyd versus who? Yeah, yeah, give me $100 on Floyd. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you don't even, so most of the time, you don't even need to hear who, who the competition is. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, Floyd, maybe, who would you bet on, Floyd or Floyd? You, you don't even need to hear the other person because it's almost a guarantee that Floyd's going to win. Even if you don't like Floyd, I bet you put your fucking money on him when it's time to fight, though. I guarantee you, even if you don't like Floyd, you're going to put your fucking money on Floyd. A lot of people. Not all. Adrian Broner, dog, you're not that dude, man. You're constantly in shit outside of the ring. You're constantly undisciplined. You know what I'm saying? Um, Barbershop Conversations made a video not too long ago about, you know, you being in the gym hitting a heavy bag and having absolutely no definition in your body whatsoever. Dude, when you when you start training for a fight, you, you're literally in fat camp, really. You don't do anything that warrants any uh, any dedication from anybody. You, you don't warrant any good faith in people, man. It's your buffoonery and your antics outside of the ring. Why would I have faith in a per as, as, as phenomenal of a, a, a talent that you are, like, take this picture, for instance. Why am I betting on somebody who, in the world that we live in, in especially in, in North America, being black men, and how we are all perceived as, as, as this stereotypical, violent, dangerous, gun-toting, quote-unquote, gangster, wannabe black man? Why on earth would you put yourself up to live up to a stereotypical uh, a description that has been applied to you by those who hate you and wish you to die. You don't instill faith in me, Adrian Broner. At, at 135, I'd have bet on you all day. That DeMarco fight, like a lot of other um, boxing fans, was the best Adrian Broner performance I'd ever seen. I mean, he I mean, he, he dismantled DeMarco. I mean, that shit was embarrassing for DeMarco, to be honest with you. I felt bad for the kid. But that fight right there, I was like, yeah, this kid is a true talent. He's a beast. He's definitely going to be the next big thing in boxing. And then all of a sudden, like 7 8 said in his, um, in his video, talking about this, and all of a sudden, the, 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 the AB moniker started to rub off. You started to believe your own hype. Like other fighters we know. I'm not going to mention them. <clears throat> Let me take a, um, in this video. <clears throat> Triple G. <clears throat> I'm a rest. Uh, but uh, you started believing in your own hype. The only difference between you and those dudes is that they're consummate professionals. They're constantly working on their craft and improving. You know what I'm saying? They actually take boxing serious. That's the difference between you and them. So the, the, them believing their own hype and the hype that's been built up around them is almost in a way um, acceptable because of the fact that they go into the ring and show and prove. You know, you go into the ring and you have piss poor performances. You don't make weight at 140. I mean... How many times have you missed what have you not made the 140 pound limit? How many? Dude, you don't instill faith in people, dog. Your, your buffoonery and your antics turn people off, man. Real boxing fans don't want to see that shit or even care about that shit. You being A B to promote a fight and sell a fight, dog, cool. That's 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 what you're supposed to do as a fighter. Promote, sell your brand, you know what I'm saying? But but all the shit you do aside from boxing isn't selling or promoting your brand. It's just making you making people more and more turned off by you to the point to where it's though, you know, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I think Adrian Brown is a very skilled person. I think he's very athletic. He has very good hands. Fundamentally, he, he's not sound. Fund he, fundamentally, he's not sound at all, in, in my opinion, you know. He has uh, a lot of work to do, but because he's so high up on himself, he truly believes that all he has learned up to this point is probably all he needs to learn. Because I don't see him doing anything different in the ring. And making adjustments is something that he doesn't do. Which means that he's a fool who believes he has nothing else to learn. Sergey Kovalev. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, I want to believe in Adrian Broner. But at the same time, you're the boy who cried wolf, man. You're the boy who cried wolf. You don't warrant any faith or a lot of respect from boxing fans, dog, at all. And yet, you're this is the thing that you're clamoring about. You're, 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 you're complaining about people showing you a lack of respect and a lack of faith in your ability to beat Mikey Garcia. People have faith in Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia is a professional. 
he shows up. He was out of the ring for what, two years, 18 months, two years? And he came back in phenomenal shape, winning his fights. A little bit of ring rust in his first comeback fight, but he, he's, he's been back, and he already has a world title. Mikey Garcia wants faith from other people. Mikey Garcia is the guy you want to bet on because he is a professional. You know what I'm saying? His skill set warrants faith. His dedication to the sport warrants faith. Everything that you should be, Mikey Garcia is, though. Mikey Garcia isn't isn't a, 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 as athletic as you are. No, he's not. He doesn't have he he has the potential to be a great fighter, but he doesn't have the natural athleticism that you have. But technical technicalities and fun, fundamentals, Mikey Garcia has that in spades, man. He has that in spades. And he has power in both hands, you know. I mean, people say Mikey Garcia is coming up to 140 from 135. People are questioning whether the power is going to carry over. People question whether your power will carry over. Adrian Broner coming up from 135, going up to 147 and fighting Paulie Malinaji, who you didn't stop. You did drop Sean Porter in, what, the 11th round, 12th round of your um, you guys' fight? 11th round, I believe it was. But it was a complete wash for all the other rounds. You know what I'm saying? Your power carried up. Sean Porter didn't even know what the fuck hit him. He was completely baffled, bewildered by that. So, obviously, you had some pop. Marcos Maidana has gone on record saying you're the hardest puncher he's ever been in the ring with. Who's to say Mikey Garcia's power won't, won't, won't carry over to one, one, from 135 to 140? Who's to say? Who's to say? Who's to say? We don't know that until we see the fight. We don't know if Mikey Garcia will be able to hurt Adrian Brown until we see the fight. I have confidence in Adrian Broner's chin because he's shown that he has a beard. However, anybody can be hurt by the right punch at the right time. Listen, I'm going to say this again. Anybody can be hurt by the right punch at the right time. And I just got to segue into this real quick. I really wish people would stop talking that fucking weak body shit with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman has never been dropped by a body shot. He's never been hurt by, sorry, he's never been dropped by a body shot. He's never been stopped in a fight because of blows to his body. Ever. 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 People keep saying, oh, every time he gets hit to the body, it, it, it bothers him. Dude, when you say shit like that and call and, and I'm going I'm to keep, keep this narrative because a lot of you dudes have never stepped in a fucking ring and actually been in there with somebody beating you in the head and in your body. You've never experienced it. So you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Point blank, period. You can't speak on something that you don't have personal experience in. Plain and simple. I can, because I do. Anybody can be hurt to the body. Keith Thurman was hurt visibly twice to the body in two fights. Louis Colazzo, who people sleep on, because if Louis Colazzo has the power to hurt you to the body and knock you out, then he must be carrying something behind those gloves, right? Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out multiple times. Nobody says he has a weak chin by smaller guys than, than uh, Marquez. Nobody says Pacquiao has a weak chin. Adrian Brony got dropped twice in his fight with Marco Maidana. The same amount of times Keith Thurman has been hurt by body shots. Twice. Nobody says Adrian Brony has a weak chin. I, I'm sorry I had to go off on that rant real quick. I just hate when people say that kind of shit. You don't, because you just prove you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That weak body shit is a fucking myth. Anybody can be hurt to the body. Anybody can be hurt to the body. Body punches are very, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. To any greater or lesser extent, you're, you are going to be made uncomfortable when people are hitting you to the body. I don't know anyone who has taken body shots or repeated body shots and just hold their hands up and just ate those body shots like it was nothing. Nobody. Everybody tries to block body shots. Everybody tries to avoid them if they can. Everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. This is not supposed to be about Keith Thurman. It, 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 just, it, just, it just really grinds my gears when I hear people talk that foolishness, that weak body shit. Man, shut the fuck up, man. Anyway, um, Adrian Broner. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. Adrian Broner, you don't instill faith, man. That, that, that's the whole point of this. Mikey Garcia is a professional, and he shows his professionalism every time he steps in the ring. Even when he's outside of the ring, he shows you his professionalism and his dedication to the sport. People are banking on Mikey Garcia because he gives them something to believe in. 
Adrian Broner. You don't give anybody anything to believe in when it comes to you, dog. You don't. You don't. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, to be honest with you, if you if he continues to perform, not, you know, in the ring perform, but I mean, so far as his antics outside of the ring, if he continues to do that, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to just stop looking for Adrian Broner. I mean, seriously, because I don't like buffoonery. I don't like clown shit. And Adrian Broner exhibits that kind of behavior. Buffoon, he acts like a fucking buffoon, man. I mean, seriously, it's time to grow up, though. You got X amount of kids. It's time you start being more mature than your fucking children. That's all I'm saying. Be 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 a role model. Be a leader. What kind of as as a father myself, I would never, ever go on record on social media or any platform where millions of people across the world can see and hear me say things like I want to kill myself. I would never do that as a fucking father, so that my children can one day run across that shit. I would never. Be on the internet toting guns and flashing guns on the internet. I would never be doing that. I Because the, the legacy that I leave my children is important. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to taint my children's future by acting like a jackass in their past. You understand what I'm saying? It's your antics that does not want faith in people, Adrian Broner. And the thing about it is, you're not going to get this shit. You're not a stupid dude. You you have good comprehension skills, as I've seen with the the interview with um barbershop conversation. You 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 can't comprehend, but I, man, I don't know, man, I don't know. But I'm just saying, this is why people don't have any faith in you, dog, because you don't give them anything to believe in. You, you don't give them anything to believe in. All your antics and stuff, partying down your hair, but the whole blonde hair shit. Um, uh, um, yeah, no, nah, I'm. That's not something men do. And I'm going to just leave it at that. If you're a dude that dyes your hair and all that shit, yeah, what the fuck ever. But um, real men don't do that. Anyway, and then blonde on top of that. What is up with the blonde shit? Seriously? Anyway, um, Adrian Broner, that's pretty much it, man. You don't, you, you don't want faith from the boxing community. That's why people are sleeping on you. Not because people don't believe in your skill set. They don't believe in you. Because mentally, you're compromised. I keep going back to this. Dude, you're compromised. And one of these fights, I believe Adrian Brown is tough. I don't believe he's afraid to step up to any challenge. But one of these fighters, one of these fights, one of these big fights at 147, or even 140 possibly, with your lack of discipline, the way you like to drink alcohol and party and not really take boxing seriously and live the fighter's lifestyle, I, I don't know. I, I just see... I just, I just see I just see some shit going really bad for this dude, man. Sometime in the future, I see some shit going really bad for him. Um, and he's the kind of guy, no matter what obstacles he presents to himself, he doesn't learn his lessons. So that'll just be what it is. But Adrian Broner, you're the reason why people don't have faith in you. And it's just that plain and simple. You're curious. You don't understand it. Take a fucking look in the mirror, man. Take a look in the mirror. You know, get your own dick out of your mouth. Stop swinging from your own ball sack. And look in the mirror. The criticism that you receive is warranted. The lack of faith that you are receiving is warranted. It's warranted. It's warranted. You don't look at life objectively. You only look at things subjectively. How many more times do we have to listen to you say, Oh, I'm all about boxing. I'm all serious about boxing. Blah, blah, blah. This is a new, this, this is a new level in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm more mature now. And then you turn right around. And start doing the same dumb shit that we always expect from you. Dude, your word means absolutely fucking nothing at this point. Talk is cheap. You want people to have faith in you? Shut the fuck up and get in the ring. And do what people know you can do. And fucking win. And win in spectacular fashion. That's all I want to see. I don't want to hear no more talk. I don't want to hear any fucking interviews from Adrian Broner. In fact, I'm not watching anything else Adrian Broner um, related. Unless it's people breaking down the fight and giving their predictions. Other than that, I don't want to hear any interviews from Adrian Broner. Because there's nothing he can fucking say to erase fucking the past six months. Let alone the past few years. There's nothing he can say that's going to erase that shit. Nothing. Shut the fuck up. Step in the rain. Do what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You want people to see you as a more mature adult. Then fucking act like it, dog. Act like it. Like it's that fucking simple. 
people are going to label you and title you as what they see you act like. People see you acting like a bitch, they're going to call you a bitch. I'm not saying that Adrian Brown is a bitch, but man, get a clue, man. Seriously, get a clue. People don't have faith in you because of you, dog. Because of you. Nothing else. Because of you. And if you're too fucking stupid to get that, then you deserve all of it. To be honest with you. But shut the fuck up. Stop running your mouth. Step in the ring and fight. Train. I don't I don't I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear anymore of this crap that's coming out of your mouth about people sleeping on you. The fans can kiss my ass if you doubt me and blah. Man, I don't care about that, man. You're a fighter. Shut the fuck up and fight, yo. Shut the fuck up and fight. Seriously. I mean, seriously, shut the fuck up and fight. Just 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 do it. The Nike slogan. Just fucking do it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, man. I think I've ranted on long enough about about what I feel about Adrian Brown and why people are not giving him the quote unquote respect he feels he deserves. Um I uh yeah, I, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. But I, I'm gonna just say this one last thing though, know, man. Adrian Brown remember you teach people how to treat you. So as so as long as you continue to uh to uh act in this buffoonish manner People are going to doubt you and have a lack of faith in you. And that's pretty much it. You want people to treat you like an adult? Fucking act like one.